I'm going to quickly demonstrate the installation of Microsoft.NET Framework 3.5 offline in Windows 10. Now for this, we'll need an installation ISO or a bootable USB. So if you've got an installation ISO, what you need to do is right click it and select mount. And what you want to do is check the drive letter. Now in this case, the drive letter is D. And I'm just going to eject the installation ISO and replace it with a bootable USB. And I'll check the drive letter of my bootable USB now. And it's also D. So from the description of this video, what we're going to do is open up Notepad and paste the following line into it. And we're going to right click it and then select copy. And if your drive letter wasn't D, then you would need to replace the D in this video with an E or with an F. So what we're going to do now is right click Windows PowerShell and we want the admin version. And then we're going to right click and this will paste what we've copied. And then we're going to press return. And now it will take a couple of minutes to install the Microsoft.NET Framework 3.5 and we'll see the progress in the PowerShell window. And that's the Microsoft.NET Framework version 3.5 installed. And I'm just going to go ahead and type in exit and then press return to close the Windows PowerShell.